Welcome to another Terranscapes video. This video shows a recently reconstructed custom work project from the custom work gallery on the website. Anytime you go to the custom work gallery at Terranscapes, any of the projects that you see can be recreated and as I'll uh, discuss with this project, uh, can be modified to meet your individual needs. So the original project called for um, four river boards. There are three shown here, uh, one with an island, uh, let's see here, actually, come around, I can give you some close-ups here. One with an island. One with a hill adjacent to the river. Now, the hill in this question, I decided to try to emphasize it sort of crumbling into the river, so I've added some boulders spilling down the slopeway. And includes a river with a ford, and... Excuse me while I move. And the Ford, um, I've been trying to uh, continuously improve its overall uh, appearance. So if you compare it to the original project that I did, uh, which is the 2x2 two two, uh, modular board set in the Custom Work Gallery, you'll see that um, now I have some of the rocks that stick above. I have more variation in the rock size and layout, some of them sitting below the water, which I think gives it a very nice, uh, much more natural feel. So you have these three river sets, uh, river boards, I'm sorry, uh, plus a fourth, which is a, simply a straight. Um, that uh, um, is uh, foliage along the edge uh, and the same as these. Uh, the set also included a rock board. Rock board shows oh, lighting issue. There we go. Uh, rock board um, has uh, five uh, large rock outcroppings. I can zoom in on that without getting it blurry. And uh, for a little scale comparison, uh, you know, just to give you a sense of the size here, a uh, pack, pack of playing cards. I'll show you that, which is probably just a pinch under the size of a rhino. Um, also included two hills uh, on the hill boards. Uh, these uh, hills um, feature um, the same sort of uh, vegetation in the front of the cliff face that I've been doing uh, for a while now. Uh, but because these boards are large, I can do some quite, quite uh, large uh, hills, plenty of room for large troops to be placed on it. And the hill on this side actually has uh, two cliff faces, one on each side. And then the set com also includes three uh, plane boards. Now, the um, set was originally designed to be 24 by 24 inches in diameter when I originally did the first set. And I used a, a foam that allowed me to make those cuts um, as single pieces, but the foam really uh, was a pretty inferior quality, and it would tend to uh, chip very easily. It wasn't very durable, and so um, the corners and the edges were very susceptible to being nicked. And I didn't really like that foam, so I decided to abandon that. And when I did that, I decided to abandon that size as well. So recently, a customer looking at that project said that uh, he wanted his boards to fit within a uh, drafting table that had um, a ridge around the edge that would hold the boards in place or, or very close to it. So he um, wanted a very specific board size. He wanted, to, uh, tw I think it's 23 and a quarter. Uh, it's been a while since I measured these. And um, the, uh, so that presented a dilemma to me, which was normally the boards I use, uh, I normally make are the um, sort of 20 uh, by 10 because the foam I use can't, be cut to 24 inches. Actually, the widest I can cut it is about 22. Well, I decided in this instance to try something new whereby I actually cut uh, 21 inches by the 23 and a quarter and then cut a 2 and a quarter inch uh, strip and pinned it into this board um, with several uh, uh, wooden pins. Basically, the same way you'd pin the joint on um, a large heavy miniature, like the wing on a dragon or something like that. And uh, that proved to be quite successful, actually. It um, made for a uh, fairly strong join, actually. It seems very rigid and uh, allowed me to uh, make the boards uh, basically uh, beyond the, width's the foam's original width and made me realize that uh, through that process, I could create boards of any uh, dimension. And so um, I wanted to put that in the video as a as a great example of how when you see something on the site and you're interested in it or perhaps modifying it to uh, make sure that you express that, uh, you know, contact me and I think we could probably find a way to get most uh, things modified to meet your needs. I had never considered 
doing this sort of pinning these strips onto the main board before and it's really opened my eyes to um, a lot of variations of uh, board dimensions that I can do in the future. Um, so that was the main modification to this set. The other modification that I did was changing the flock slightly. And so um, what I did is I put in a uh, static grass that's got a lot more um, light greens and uh, reds. And it's, it's a little bit similar to the GW uh, static uh, uh, grass that they use, uh, which um, I thought would be a nice contrast to the highlight that I normally do. And since this is a complete set, I, uh, the customer doesn't need to worry about future matching with uh, colors or whatever. Um, so it really gives me some freedom to be um, a little bit more creative in how I highlight it. Um, and the other important thing about this set is really to recognize the uh, immense variation that this kind of a set produces uh, for play. The um, extra board, the river board, makes 10 boards total. Now what I've shown here is a nine by a 3 by 3 layout, 9 of the boards, uh, just for ease of uh, videoing. But really, when you go to play, uh, you're pretty much going to be playing on a 2x3, such as this strip here. 2x3 provides basically a 4x6 layout. It's going to be short by, you know, an inch or so on each side, a little less, actually. So, when you are looking at it that way, you've got six boards, which leaves four boards off the table, so to speak, allowing you to intermix those four into your game table anytime you want uh, for a really big variation. You could have... Um, the two rivers running along the back side. You could have two rivers intersecting the middle of the board, creating a, an obstacle to fight over. You could run a river down the length of three. You could do a, a two by eight table uh, so that you could uh, maybe play larger games, you know, or two by four, I mean, making a four by eight table, say for apocalypse games, something like that. Um, in which case, then you could run the four, you could run the four rivers all the way down the side. Um, so there's really quite a bit of variation that this set provides based on its size, uh, so it's rather unique in that way. And uh, it really just gives you, again, another example of some of the variation on the themes of the projects that uh, Terranscapes is willing to undertake, and uh, also highlights that fact that when you go through Terranscapes, you get me, basically, as a one-on-one -on -one consultant working with you to come up with whatever your vision is for a terrain project to make your wargaming really approach the edge of reality as close as we can get it together.